Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Today I'm gonna to teach you an ancient secret, how to find wine with a stick, so watch. All right, so we got our stick, um, okay. Going this way, our gate. Okay. Nope, 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 it's pulling me this way. Oh crap, kids left all their junk out. It's okay, let's see here. Okay, over. Pull me this way. Oh. Look at that. It works. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today I am reviewing the Divining Rod. It's a 2014 Cabernet from Alexander Valley, California. Uh, it is uh, from Mark Mondavi. Don't know who Mark Mondavi is. No, Robert Mondavi, but not Mark. They probably are related with a name like that. Just assuming. Anyway, um, this 13.9% alcohol by volume, and the best part is I paid zero dollars for it, so regardless if it's good or bad, it's totally wine on the dime approved. I got it as a gift for Christmas, but that's not gonna stop me from drinking it right now, so let's get going. No screw top, that's sad. But we can still review it. All right, from a color standpoint, it's really dark. Um, it, definitely has very little transparency, no artifacts. From um, a color standpoint, I'm gonna say it's like a intravenous blood red. Intravenous blood red. That's like, has it, it's just like that deep, like, like as it's going through the arteries into the veins, like as it's transitioning the capillaries and it's going from like bright red because it's oxygenated into like almost like a purplish, it's kind of like that color. That was really graphic. Are you still here? Yeah, let's keep going. So from a nose standpoint, lots of red fruit and oak. I'm getting a lot of, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind on that. I'm not getting, I thought I was getting red cherry. I'm getting black cherry. I'm getting a hint of raspberry. I'm getting a hint of plum. There's a, a an herbal element there I can't figure out though. Almost like a touch of cinnamon. And what I would say is probably a French American oak hybrid barrel because it doesn't smell too much like French oak and doesn't smell too much like American oak. Yeah, okay, anyway, so from a taste standpoint, ooh, ooh. The plum and the cherry, those are the, those are the, the stars of the taste. A lot of, like, oh, I got a lot of plum up front and then the cherry kind of kicked in. Uh, it was a very interesting. The raspberry kind of pops in on the finish, pops out, getting a consistent level of oak all the way through. The thing that is intriguing me is that herb. What is that herb? I don't know if I'll ever get it. It might be something like I want to say there's like a hint of cinnamon. There's almost like a hint of coffee ground to it too. Very, very interesting wine. So, divining rod. What am I going to give you for your review? I think I'm going to give you a very good. This is a very good wine. This is a very good wine. I am very happy with this. And I'm going to sit down and... I'm actually in the process of cooking a filet right now. 
I took a second away to go do my wine reviews. So I'm probably gonna go enjoy this with that filet mignon because that sounds amazing right now. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Divining Rod cab? I'd be interested to know if you had in the comments below. And I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, time to get my steak on. Hey everybody, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. So, the first thing you should do is right there. That's where I made my own sound effect because I want you to look at that video right there. And then what else you should do is that whoosh, right here. Take a look at that subscribe button. You probably have already left by now, but it doesn't matter. Just either of these things, notifications, comments, like, dislike, whatever. Love y'all.